Good day everybody, it's Kalinara here and welcome back to The Witcher 2. So we need to find our way to somewhere. I'm kinda lost but I've got the spirit. Let's see if there's any like sneaky way to go around. Of course there's this... Hello. There is the sewers I can go to if I can find them. The Merlion Jack books, boots, I already have one of those. Very comfy, comfy pair of shoes. Thank you very much. Oh, be damned. So if I could find my way to, well, somewhere, I'd be happy. Hello, dog. Oh no, you are saying I sh could attack it. No way. Oh, I'm just randomly here. Okay. Do you me to do that? Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Interesting. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. May we speak? Sure. Didn't expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. Uh, okay. I don't have much time. Let me hear some details. The sorceress will reveal everything. We're on our way to meet her. I can only say it concerns Epder Henna. His laboratory, to be precise. Der Henna is dead. Sure, why not? I'm willing to help. <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. These are the guys who wanted Geralt's blood or whatever, but I didn't give it to them. I guess I might as well do some side questing. Why not? Not what I was supposed to do. There we go. We've broken through in the right spot. Quiet. Stand ready. He killed Vanamar. And many other mages. I know who he is, Cynthia. In the same city as Philippa, and you didn't even bother to change your name. That takes balls. <laughs> Philippa's out of the picture. She's been arrested. And I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Grave error. I'll make you a deal. You don't get it. You turned Triss into a cold stone. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out why I shouldn't turn you into a cold corpse. She is alive and well. We decompressed her successfully. That There were no complications. And the interrogation after she was decompressed? Because you did interrogate her. I personally supervised it. We presented the tools, gave her a few bruises, and that sufficed to get her to talk. Tools? A few bruises? You really don't want to leave this crypt alive. If we're to die, we'll do so proudly, serving the Emperor. But I think that unlikely. Contrary to what they say, you're no murderer. Triss told me so. Got anything else to tell me? Just one thing. 
I've supervised dozens of interrogations. All subjects talk sooner or later. That's an old truth. Though some resist longer than others. Tris Marigold did not resist at all. She grew pale at the mere sight of the saws, hooks and needles. She was prepared to talk before the interrogation began. I really want to hit him. What did she tell you? But let's not. I will not betray the Emperor. I'm no good at interrogating others. Tell me, or I'll cut your hands off. You seek to intimidate me. Give it a rest. What did she tell you? I will not betray the Emperor. How about some witch arm magic? What did Triss tell you? Please. Well, well. Another mage. What did she tell you? I will not betray the Emperor. Well, I'm out of choices. We'll come back to that. Why are you here? We suspect Dare Henna's laboratory may contain documents and books that could be useful to the Imperial Academy of Science. That wasn't even close to funny. You're lying. We don't know what's inside. Dare Henna was a talented man, but also an eccentric. What do you hope to find? That's confidential. I cannot tell you. Regardless, we need your help. The laboratory lies beneath the Redanian camp, which we cannot penetrate above ground. We want to get there through the sewers, but can't manage it without a capable swordsman. Okay. How can I get into the Nilfgaardian camp? There's one entrance. Beyond it, a long, heavily guarded corridor. You, you can't hope to sneak in. Renwald Matson chose the spot specifically to avoid being surprised. Where are you holding Triss? At the back of the camp. Beneath a ruined building. You're gonna help me free her. Not likely. You're better off killing me now. You've no idea what the Emperor's intelligence apparatus does to turncoats. About that offer. Fine. I'll help you open the laboratory. In exchange, I'll tell you all I can. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Sounds like a deal. One more thing. <laughs> we need a deal. I'm even faster with my sword. No tricks. <laughs> I really wanted to do that by myself, too. species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. I'll also take your money, thank you very much. I assume rot fields. No, just <laughs> well then. <laughs> What did that go to? Well, come on, I've defeated Rodfields before. They just decimated me. Are we likely to encounter dragons? Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. Let's try that again, shall we? me taking some of you know something like this seems like that would be a fairly healthy thing let's level up while we are here Hmm. 
that one. Sorry, I've got an ETI just a second. Okay, let's keep going. I hear very monstery noises. Oh, hello. Ouch. Very ouch. Uh, I think this is a type of foe that can't really be very... Okay, never mind. Was it a beastie like that something that we could just run away from? That about does it. I'm impressed. I've kept my end of the world. You are still alive. Let's see if there's any proper loot here. Okay, orange are always fun. I don't think I need those. And even more orange. Okay, nothing interesting there. Hello? I'm no rats that run around sewers. What are we looking for, anyway? Some graves, I heard. Graves? So maybe there is something in this forest. Shut your traps. Want the sergeant to hear? Give me deep shot. Interesting. We've got company. Redanian bastards. The entrance must be somewhere here. If our experts are to be trusted, their hammer dabbled in illusions, among other things. He also experimented heavily with golems. Golems with the power of speech, supposedly. They knew nothing of poetry, but... Will you two shut up? Yes, it's an illusion. I found a weak spot. Stand back. Of course. Later, later, Elon. Lisa, Elon. Later, dear. You gonna get it done? It's reacting to myself. At times, I'm caught. You can get my kind of feet. Though I have no needles, they say I am piercing. What am I? Careful with the answer. It could be a trap. Typical of dear Hannah. He was a genius with a penchant for mischievous jokes. Like a child. So a couple of adults, purported experts, should have no problem solving this. Indeed, it's trivial. The answer is pain. Incorrect. Oh my. So it is not pain. Pleasant or terrible. I come at night or in daytime. Short or long. But yours alone. Essential. I am. Uh, uh. Oh mind, it's not a rhyme. At day or at night I come 
I could be yours or others I could be pleasant or painful. That? That incorrect. Ouch. Capable of kindness and cruelty. I take victims when I sour. I can be on your side or wrong. I bring gifts, though you already have me. Can you please repeat the riddle? Capable of kindness and cruelty, I take victims when I sour. I can be on your side or wrong you. I bring gifts, though you already have me. A river? A river. Incorrect. God dang it. Whoa, it completely killed me. I'm, I'm not good at riddles, very clearly. Say, is there a save point there? There should be, hopefully. Maybe I should have made a save point. Okay, there is a save point here. That is good. Described as hard. I can be your hard. currency and heal. But not many things can stand my test. You can fly, you can be hard, you can heal, but not many survive. Time? Correct. Yay! Not for everybody. Yeah, that is seemingly not to everyone. Someone's been here recently. Well, oh, well, hi. The competition's here. Kill them. I love using the super attack or whatever it was called. Thickens. They must have descended straight from their water. Let a Nordling. Another guardian. Later, later and lawn. Lisa and lawn. Later, dear. There's a lot of books and stuff. It's reacting to my spell. Ooh. Interesting. I cannot hope to finish the research alone. A group of travelers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. Did I hear someone complain about the riddles being too easy? Let's think this through. There are nine alcoves, a fresco in each. That's three groups of three frescoes. The riddle mentions three guides above the travelers. We must examine the frescoes, seek answers there. Mm. I'll advise you about the riddle, but I will not take part in disarming the device. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look at this. Get knowledge about them. So can I see the riddle from here? A group of travelers wandering through the dark. 
three guides above them. Sir Trevor marked a knight of trail, a trick serpentine, and a silver lady shining and fine. Okay, a trick serpent, serpentine. It could be a dragon or a snake. It could be this one. Or it could be this one, the Drake Serpentine. Uh, do the books I collected say anything about the different guys? So Tir Tokar is probably the mountains one. Oh, this could also... That could look kind of like Ouroboros, so that could be the Serpentine. Maybe. I persuaded Gaspar to I expected a greater challenge. Thus far, we've had but riddles to the beer enthusiasts. Hmm. What do you think of the first verse? I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its yeah, own. That's kind of what I also thought. Infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. Watch more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged. And as an accomplished alchemist, Gehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter, an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. I feel like it's the hourglass one. Or Can say the line. remind me how the line was worded? The first verse was, A night they trailed a drake serpentine. Oh, so it's the constellation. It should be the dragon constellation. I shall take that one. What do you think of the second verse? To my mind, it speaks of the White Rose, symbol of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the Silver Lady and White Rose are one and the same. No. I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the feminine element. The Order remains largely unknown in the South, so the White Rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Nausicaa Brigade, which has the Death's Head as its symbol. The Brigade's name is female, and they say Death follows a unit. So the Silver Lady could very well be Nausicaa or the Death's Head. I feel like it's the full moon, but how was Someone it said? Someone me how the line was worded. As I recall, the second verse was a silver lady shining and fine, if only her visage she would deign to unfold. I feel like that's the full moon. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. What do you say to the third verse? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. Can someone remind me how the line was worded? 
The third fragment mentioned a mountain vault containing untold riches which guided the travelers by day. I feel like it's the mine. The mine entrance in the mountainside. That seems logical. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. Please be correct. So, yeah, this one. Is it correct? Intruder detected. Apparently it was not correct. But the door did open. So we? Our expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. That looks like something to heal. Maybe. Ooh, game saved. Hello? A golem. So Darehenna's legend is true. It is no more than an obedient machine created to follow orders and kill. Not unlike our Witcher. I could kill you. So I guess we should get along famously. You? What do you know about golems? I don't run into them in every forest, but any good bestiary describes golems at length, and I've read more than my share of those. Geralt, I'm not questioning your knowledge, but I should be the one to... Actually, you are questioning my knowledge. <laughs> Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll try to get it to reveal the word that'll deactivate it, or I'll just mess with its head, break the code. So now we've got a burglar in our midst. Be my guest. Try. My intentions are good. As are mine. Know, however, that this may change. Der Hanna must have been pretty lonely if he gave you eloquence. The master made me a guardian. Nothing less, nothing more. And you, provided you stand there, are a guest. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your creator? Of course. I was summoned into being by Master Dehenna. I abide by his will, by his power, by the necessity encased in my stone bowels. Dehenna is dead. His word, which animates me, lives on. As does his legacy, which I protect. Empires will rise and fall. Rivers will shift their courses. But I will remain obedient to one master on my eternal watch. Can I ask you for the name word which brought you to life and which can deactivate you? Do that. And I shall consider you an intruder. Set then, I do not. You're not an automaton. You're self-aware and you think you can make decisions. Well, of course it fails. You're wrong. I am eloquent and can discern between guests and intruders. I can also deal with the latter. But everything I say and do is limited by my restrictive program. By the way, as an automaton, I am immune to all charms. Stop the intruders. Fuck, dang it. That could have gone better. I guess that would have made sense. I was just stupid to do that. It was way too frontal assault. Well, I mean, they aren't, don't seem to be too difficult to kill, so it's fine. That did work. We've penetrated their Hennes laboratory. Let's have a look. 
let's not have a look because I need to go so I will have to leave this episode here but it, it it's it's fairly interesting so I hope you liked it and bye bye